Uh, okay, guys. Um, I want us to talk about centroid today. So this is a build-up question. I want to do um, um moments, ne? So area of moments or second area of moment. So before we understand uh those mom area of moments or moment of inertia, so instrument of material and five and and six. So we start. Uh, we have to talk about centroid. But it is centroid is basically from N3. So N3 and N4. It covers both for N3 and N4. So uh, when, when you are talking about centroid, uh, we are talking about um, the center of gravity of uh, this uh, shape. Or let's say this shape, it's uh, this one, it's a beam. So when you're talking about the uh, center of gravity, we are talking about the center at which um, the this this beam will uh, receive uh, a maximum load that will be applied on the beam. So when we are calculating our centroid, so we have to determine uh, of which um, where the where this uh, where, where this shape uh, it's um, it's symmetric. So when we're talking about symmetric, we're talking about when we carry it uh, in between uh, or or in the middle, we will get uh, two um, identical shapes. So when you check this uh, this uh, this beam or this shape, it's um, symmetrical when we carry it uh, on the x-axis like this. So this part is identical to this other one. Let's uh, let's put it like this. Let's draw this line here. Say um, this uh, this shape is symmetrical when you cut it at uh, this line, which is we are cutting at one and in the x axis. And then uh, when you're calculating a mass centroid, centroid we're basically calculating uh, using what you call area moment. And then when we uh, when we discuss a moment, we said a moment is a turning. Uh, turning effect. So in this case, we're also going to calculate uh, using our um, moment or area moment. So the area moment we we're going to divide this shape because uh, we can calculate um, an area of the shape. So what we're going to do? We're going to divide this shape into two. So now we have shape number one and shape number two. So let's say this is one, and then this is two. And then from there, we are going to uh, get uh, the total area of both uh, or of the whole shape. That means the area of this one plus this one. We're going to get the total area of this shape. And then to get, uh, okay, let's calculate the area of, uh, let's say area number one in this case will be equals to, uh, it's going to be, it's, it's a rectangle. So it's going to be 30 times 30, uh, 34 so let's say 34 times 30 then we get our uh, error number one and then our uh, error number two will be equals to uh, 34 this one multiplied by 16 which is 34 multiplied by 16 then we get our area so for a total area now it's going to be uh, area number one plus area number two then we get what our total area. So, uh, when talking about um, when we're talking about centroid, we are looking at um, so we said uh, on this shape we have two axes, right? We have the x axis and also the y axis like this. So when we calculate um, uh, on the y axis from A to B. Then when we move uh, in this case or in this direction, therefore it's uh, the it's what you call this is our x x or it's uh, the um, the central or, or it's the coordinate of it, of the x intercept. And then uh, when you calculate going this direction, therefore we're going to calculate uh, what you call this is y axis right so when you get um from this point then we're going to uh take moments all our moments or all our area moments is going to be 
in this direction right so this one let's uh let's let's draw like that so uh at this point here which is a is a and b you now so at this a and b we're going to have take our moment or this one is going to be we're going to take it as our fulcrum or our turning point of them of the beam and then area number one she from shape number one will be acting in the milieu offered of this area so let's say this is area number one area number one will be acting on the milieu offered of this shape of the shape number one right so from the center offered of this shape and then we're looking at the distance to this a a so a and b so so that means uh, when you take it like this we're going to say this is area number one and then its distance to what to a a so so to a b so the distance to a b is going to be half of one of state because the whole uh, uh, length of the shape it's one is state therefore here is going to be one is going to be 15 then we can say this is 15 which is this shape to 15 and then when going to um area number two uh so area number two will be acting here in the middle of it of shape number two so in the middle of shape number two the center it's what the center is going to be half of 34 and uh half of 34 it's when it's uh 17 right so that means for a distance from this point to this point where the area number two is ending it's what it's 17 like this right so but when you check it uh, this is area number two right so this is area number two here uh, and then uh, this is okay area number two and then now the distance from area number two here we said to this point is what it's 17 plus 30 to what to a b so now we're going to take the distance from this point to this direction so to to this a a to this a b so so therefore it's going to be 30 plus 17 which is going to be one for here uh seven so that means from here to this point it's one it's 47 right then uh now the center uh sorry the um, uh the total area now the total or um, let's say the total what the total area this total area is the one that will determine our the milieu of what the milieu of this um uh the center of this one the center of the shape so the total area will be acting opposite let's say it will be acting here this will be what this will be our total so area like this so this total area uh it can be here or anywhere here let's put it here then this is what this is our total air and then the distance from here to the turning point it's our what it's our centroid or is the position of what of the center yeah so that's why we're saying when you calculate the we calculate using uh the area moments so now we know that from the law of moment we said the clockwise are equals to uh anti-clockwise moments are equals to the clockwise moment so in this case now we're going to have what the total area let's say total area multiplied by the centroid let's say this one so our centroid will be equals to um area number one uh area number one multiply by distance number one let's name it x1 here let's say this is x1 and then from this one to this point is x2 so plus what area number two times x2 therefore now it's going to be one our centroid this one is our centroid will be equals to the total area of area number one multiply by the distance we said it's what it's 15 plus uh, area number two times the distance is also it's on it's 47 all over the total area so sorry i don't have a calculator so 
I will just uh, leave it like this. Then you can um, calculate the total area from here and then you get on your, your, your moment. Right. So this is how you calculate what you call uh, a centroid. So you can uh, use the this formula. It's actually a formula. This one you can get it on your formula sheet. But this formula is driven from what? From an area moment. So it's calculated using an area moment. So for if, uh, for an example, you are having a hole here, maybe you are having a hole. Yeah? So a hole, uh, we take it as an opposite direction of, it, of this two, of the, the forces. So we're going to subtract this area. So if maybe we're having a, a hole, let's say it's number three. So we're going to calculate area number three to get the total area. Therefore, we're going to minus what area number three, right? And then uh, this this uh, area um, this area number three will be acting opposite with the other one because it's going because it's a hole. That means it's subtracting from the solid one so this one is going to be area number three this side that means uh, you can add what area number three in this direction yeah and then you'll also know the distance from area number three let's say maybe the distance here was 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 was, was. let's say it was two then the center here was going to be uh one and then plus the other one Go in this direction so now when you multiply here we're going uh, to subtract from what from your formula therefore it's going to be area number three multiplied by its x number three if you are having a hole so you subtract the whole and then um so this is the coordinate of it this is the coordinate of the x axis right and then when it goes to okay this is the coordinate of the x oh sorry the coordinate of the x axis will be here in the middle right so then and now because this one is symmetrical then when we cut it here the turning uh the the centroid when you cut it from this point is going to be which is y right when you go up like this the four is going to be uh half of it half of 34 Right, so half of 34 is going to be 17 when you're going in this direction. So I'm going to do another video following up on this one. Thank you.